Audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. We've been working our way through a series talking all about deception. The idea that Jesus said, take care that no one deceives you out of Matthew chapter 24. In Matthew chapter 24, Camille, Jesus talks about false prophets and enduring. Let's talk about those false prophets. All right. Well, (laughs) uh, I don't know if there's enough hours in the day (laughs) to talk about that topic. Yes, uh, all uh, lightheartedness aside, we're looking at deception, the topic of deception. It is prevalent. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's a spirit of deception or a spirit of strong delusion. We believe Jesus calls us to take responsibility to avoid our own deception. And remember, the danger is when you are deceived, you can pass that on to others, to your family, to your friends, to people under your ministry. It's like a virus that is contagious. So we need to listen to the words of God, and make sure that God's truth filters out the deception. But yes, in verse 11 of Matthew 24, it says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. I don't know if people understand. This is the Lord's love and mercy warning us that this kind of thing will happen. Don't be gullible. Don't be shallow. Don't be naive. He's not telling us to be cynical and paranoid either, but he's telling us to be mature spiritually and discerning. So you will not be taken by false prophets if, A, you know the Word of God, B, you're filled and led by the Holy Spirit. It will be impossible for you to be deceived when those things are operative in your life. So it tells us that basically many people won't be discerning. They'll be offended, they'll be misled, or they'll be led astray. And we don't have to become a statistic in such things as what he's describing. He's telling us ahead of time, so let's heed the warning. It's one thing to be ignorant about those things that might bring deception, Camille. It's another thing, isn't it, to also just have an opinion, but somehow or other we have to have a developed conviction about what is truth and about what is a direction. Otherwise, uh, we run the risk of succumbing to that deception. Well, yes, we have to be vigilant on our toes Again, not paranoid or cynical. That doesn't help at all. We need to know God is with us, bearing in mind it's in God's interest, if I may say that, to keep us on the straight and narrow. It's not just we're all left to our lonesome. God gives us the warnings in Scripture. God gives us the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and warn us. I say this with due reverence, Neil. Think of the Holy Spirit like a life coach a trainer, or a guide, like a tour guide. When we see him in that way, he will lead us into all truth, and, he, and Jesus also promises that the Holy Spirit will remind us of the truth that we've already learned. Now, when you're in such hands, you have nothing to worry about. Faith and the Future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. Find articles, videos and podcasts from Dr. Camille, plus today's and other episodes of Faith in the Future in the Vision app or at vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.